Hello everyone, this is the final uh, video tutorial of this series. Uh, today I will talk about the brush settings. Uh, first of all, the brush normal, actually I couldn't find any differences between those two. So I will skip this for the moment till maybe uh, the uh, developers of the app will tell us what's going on and actually uh, that was uh, one of the reason that I uh, record this uh, video uh, lately I tried to email them but uh, asking them about some of the settings here in the brush settings but uh, unfortunately they didn't answer anyway and the stroke type actually here we have the dot and the continuous uh, actually they are pretty much same like exactly same uh, i will show you here so okay so the dot one should make space between each dot because the brush usually it's like a dots connected to the, to each other uh, but see here it's some kind of dots connecting see the circles here uh, but when i choose Okay, this is the continuous <laughs> fun. And if I choose the dots one, it's exactly the same. See here, I don't know why they did it in this way. As I told you, it's just the same. I can't see any differences. Okay, and for the drug dot, uh, it's about like when you click and drag, you will find the cursor uh, dragging the dot itself. It's uh, no longer uh, drawing, it's like a dragging a one dot. Um, so yes here we have a different but when we choose uh, this one it's doing exactly the drag one so i'm not really sure about this uh, as i told you i sent an email asking them but uh, i had no answer hopefully they will answer us after this video uh, the symmetry the symmetry actually I had a lot of uh, questions from you about this one uh, so th the default of the sculpt plus it's to drawing on double sides left and right on X uh, axis uh, but if you choose none here so you will be you will be no longer drawing on both only one side or only one brush and of course if you choose the y this will makes you drawing on the y axis and the z as well and the fun actually is here in the radial symmetry when you choose this one when you activate it the radial count uh, let's make it something more higher uh, as a default it's two but if you make it a higher value you will have something like this see it's amazing actually to 
do it in this way yeah actually I like this option a lot and yeah uh, I definitely encourage you to test this out this, there is a lot of fun here and uh, the use alpha the alpha it's it's mean here the brush alpha okay for the moment is using the alpha but if you deactivate this one uh, it will no longer actually uh, using the alpha the brush alpha so for example now it's circle right but if you change this to uh, square stay as circle see or if I change it to anything like still the same but when I use the use alpha option it's definitely different see the fall off the fall off actually uh, it's quite tricky it's about how the brush will uh, uh, will behave on the object um, it's hard to show you here uh, how it does work but let, let me try something uh, I found it actually quite better to see when you uh, activate the stylus pressure so I'll try this one here see how it's become low till high see low and then slowly going uh, higher Yeah, you should actually test those uh, fall off and uh, you will understand immediately by yourself what it does uh, do. And if you have any question about this, just let me know. Uh, the repeat last stroke, actually I found it useless. I tried many times uh, to to use this but nothing happened I don't know I, I don't know if it's my uh, device only or maybe yours uh, let me uh, know in the comment if you have any uh, anything about this one if, if please if you figure out or if you understand this please let me know what it does and uh, the stylus pressure uh, so if you activate this option here uh, you can choose what kind of pressure you want or if you press uh, on the screen uh, what will uh, do here uh, the strength or the size you want the brush size to be different or the, the strength on the object or the strength and uh, size so see this one and make it bigger yeah yeah it's good to have actually a stylus uh, or using a stylus uh, here yeah I, uh, I do like this option and uh, the last one actually it's the lazy stroke the lazy stroke uh, you probably saw this in different uh, applications or different softwares recently photoshop uh, using this technically it's 
let you um, like uh, help you to to draw uh, smoothly you know so see here see this line coming under the brush yes this line is the lazy line yeah actually it's very nice cool smooth you can do a lot using this Very fun. So yes, that's all. I believe if you have anything, please let me know. Or any question, any uh, figures, please let me know in the comments. And, uh, and this is, as I said, the uh, last uh, video tutorial for the Sculpt Plus and uh, uh, probably I will start doing something like uh, starting doing a project maybe you can do some objects or uh, like uh, I don't know a cartoon uh, character something fun if you have any idea also let me know in the comment and uh, yes that's it maybe you can use something like uh, doing something and then use it in the photoshop or 3d max show you how to export and import uh, files to uh, photoshop for example and uh, change the color the texture the light and um, yeah doing a lot of fun and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.